I'm doing very well, and I love McDonald's. I eat uh, about four McDonald's burgers a day and a lot of ketchup. Yeah. So, I, love con well, I, don't, I usually don't like condiments, if you know what I mean. Mm. That made me uncomfortable. I'm here with President Trump. Well, not the real Trump, rather with the Trump impersonator. He's part of a new installation by In Decline, the anonymous activist art collective that has focused on political, environmental, and social issues since 2001. Now they're showcasing their latest piece, The People's Prison, which was an installation where they took over a luxury suite in a Trump hotel in New York and turned it into a pop-up prison with a live Trump impersonator behind bars. They brought that now to Pasadena to the Gallery 30 South, and we're here to take a look. So can you tell me a bit about uh, some of the art on the walls? Well, this stuff here, this, this quite frankly, and if you don't know who they are, they're total flunkies. A lot of these people were either drug addicts, alcoholics, or they had AIDS. Based on what? Based on getting AIDS. I'm here with one of Inda Klein's founding members. He's covering his face because he doesn't want to be identified. People's Prison was a, was a project we, we worked on for about six months putting in calls to the hotel in advance, asking them pretty direct questions about their security. We wanted to create an art gallery inside of his hotel, celebrating the values and the, the radical protest history of our country and those that have fought and stood for America and fought to make the flag specifically stand for something better than what they stand for now under, under, yeah. his, under his regime. And so he's like a little pinball of destruction. So you really never know what, where he's gonna go, or what he's gonna do or who he's gonna offend. And so just when you think that you've got like, one of his more controversial aspects pegged in this project built around that, he moves and goes and throws paper towels at people in Puerto Rico yeah. or does, you know, f a porn star and pays her off. And so we've been kind of attacking him from a more broad range recently. And then the Trump impersonator? Bob? Who's like super believable yeah. and makes me very uncomfortable. Was that always part of the plan? It, it was. The first plan was invite the press up and when they walk in you just have a Trump impersonator who's just sitting there forlorn, handcuffed, not speaking. Mm -hmm. And then we met Bob. In decline, maybe you've heard of them. They're a bunch of flunkies. They had another failed exhibit. Look at this one of Oprah. Doesn't even look like her. Horrible photo. The activist group In Decline arranged for Donald Trump statues to appear yesterday morning, not only here, but also in LA, New York, Seattle, and Cleveland. You guys did the Naked Trump sculptures a couple years ago. Can you tell me about the reactions to that? Because I feel like I saw that everywhere. It was pretty sensational. You know, we received, I think, about three weeks worth of death threats, and um, we had a lot, of, a lot of interaction from that. In Decline was something that uh, I founded with a handful of friends. A lot of us were just out of high school or had just been thrown out of high school and um, had a penchant for troublemaking and we were also living in the Bush era. And we started off um, riding trains throughout the country, painting large-scale political messages on freight trains. Um, Billboard Liberation was a big thing for us. So after the Parkland shooting, we knew that we wanted to do something about gun reform. A couple days later, we changed the billboard in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and that was national media, um, and that happened instantly. And so, that was yeah, it was very intense. They're not alone. They join other provocative artists who have challenged the status quo, like Ai Weiwei, French artist JR, or Gorilla Girls. What reaction are you looking from, from mm -hmm. people? Is it a call to action? Is it to start a conversation? I mean, we want to be that, that battering ram that kind of comes in and just shakes your day up and gives you a different take on something. You know, we put our, our lives online for this stuff. This stuff's very risky, and so we, we like to know that the return there is your attention and your, your willingness to look at this from a different angle. If you happen to be someone that doesn't really pay attention to homeless people or don't give two thoughts about global warming, that we hope that when we go and do our version of a protest piece in relation to global warming, it'll wake you up and make you feel a little more inspired to educate yourself. Yeah.